does old age scare you because it does scare me a lot then i'm sure that like me you must have also availed the services under nps a national pension system which has been introduced by the government or are you among those who had their amount in employment provident fund and now want to transfer it to nps coincidentally you landed on the right channel welcome to the antislice youtube channel i am sobia amin your tax assistant for all your tax queries today we will talk about the specific highlights you should know if you want to transfer your epf balance to nps but let's first learn what is epf and what is nps the employees provident fund scheme was first introduced in india in the year 1952 it is a retirement benefit scheme which requires both the employer and the employee to contribute a certain amount of money each month till the employer's career status is active it provides tax benefits along with a higher rate of interest in comparison whereas national pension system or nps was introduced by the government of india as a retirement benefit scheme made to facilitate a regular income after the retirement to all its subscribers pfrda or pension fund regulatory and development authority is the allocated governing body for nps now the question comes how nps is different from epf the nps and epf are usually the go to options among indian citizens for their retirement plans these two schemes serves almost similar purpose yet are quite distinctive in nature feature and objectives employee provident fund or epf is a mandatory deduction made from your salary with an objective to create a retirement corpus for you therefore the sum that will be received by you on your retirement will be tax free on the contrary nps is a voluntary practice of accumulating a certain amount from your salary for the purpose of your post retirement relaxation but do you know how these two schemes allocate your fund employees provident fund further invest your epf funds in government bonds securities debt securities etc over the last 3 years epf has offered an annual rate of interest of 8.5% however nps on the contrary does not offer any sort of guaranteed return to its subscribers according to financial year 16 annual report of the nps trust indicates that from the time of inception the return offered by nps under the various scheme has ranged from 7.86% to 14.30% this range of interest might bring into your mind the thought of transferring your epf amount to nps so now let's understand how to transfer epf sum to your nps account step 1 create an nps tier 1 account you may create this account using the online portal that is e nps portal or can ask your employer to open an nps account for you or you may create an account using pop that is point of presence POP are generally banks or any such other entities which are registered as POP with PFRDA. Step 2. Once the account is opened, you have to ask your employer for transfer form, which will then be sent to the concerned EPFO nodal branch for the purpose of initiating the transfer of balance from EPF to NPS. Once request is received, EPFO will initiate the balance transfer in the EPF account. a check or draft either in the name of the nodal office of nps or in the name of the pop that is point of presence collection account will be issued by the retirement body step 3 a letter will be issued to the employer by the nodal epf officer mentioning the balance being transferred to the nps tier 1 account of the employee once the fund is received your nps account will be updated step 4 As per your fund selection, NPS will invest your amount. You may opt for a maximum of 50% allocation to equity instruments and remaining in debt schemes. NPS returns vary between 7.5% to 14% according to the fund selection and the market condition, unlike that of EPF which provides fixed returns annually. It is crucial to evaluate all prospects before making the investment. After all, it is going to be a stick in your old age. Am I sensing that you want to know more about the comparison between NPS and EPF? Then reach us out at the number mentioned on the screen. A team of expert will connect with you at your convenience to assist with all that you need. Today we learned how EPF amount is transferred to NPS and in the next video I will help you with understanding if you should really transfer your EPF amount to NPS account. So do not miss the tuning. 
see you next time